So hi, everybody. This is our closing remarks for the Open Hardware Summit. I just want to thank everybody for being here, everybody who's been a part of this. It's been a long day, but a really fascinating day, a really important day for, for Open Hardware to hear everybody's thoughts um, and see our community be able to interact and get together uh, in our Discord channel and on Twitter and all the other spaces that we're in. Um, I also want to thank our sponsors today. So our sponsors, uh, we, we wouldn't be able to do this um, without our sponsors, of course. Um, so thank you so much to our sponsors, um, SparkFun RepRep, the Chan Zuckerberg Institute, Helium Edge Impulse DigiKey, Kickstarter iFixit, Osh Park Hacksters, System76, DF Robot, LD Motors, Thing M, Supply Frame, Tapster, Tindy, Hackaday, uh, Ultimate Machine, Crowd Supply, Timidim, Pulse Sensor, Great Scott Gadgets, Mach 30, Circle Phone, Adafruit, Lulzbot, Shopbot, JLPCB, App and Glow, RPCB, InAccess, Olamex, Seed Studios, Blue Clover, PCB Way, DIA, Arduino, Jay Simmons, and Pinoco. Thank you all very, very much for supporting what we're doing here. Next up for our update on Ashwa. It has been an incredibly busy year, an incredibly exciting year. We are really seeing open hardware um, being ported to all kinds of different places and being used in new, exciting ways. And what we're really seeing is an enormous foundation kind of being built under all of this community in a really fantastic way. Um, so in 2020, we came to you at the summit in these same kind of opening and closing remarks with this idea that we had that we wanted to do um, around uh, an, an EDU initiative, a higher ed initiative, which would get university professors and researchers involved in open hardware, which would tackle the problem of, of having the people who have the funds aware of open hardware um, and understanding what the metrics might be to look like for deans and the higher ups at universities who are looking at you know, promoting within. Um, and I am super, super excited to say that we recently just launched our Open Hardware Trailblazers and Academia Fellowship. This absolutely would not be possible without the Sloan Foundation. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the Sloan Foundation. Um, we, um, we had, we've gotten so a, a really awesome grant from them basically to help um, academics create um, a, a bunch of resources, sort of the meta layer of how to create open hardware in academia. So, so not actually doing the hardware itself, but thinking through all of the different layers of, okay, if I'm an academic, what do my fellow academics need to know about creating open hardware in this university structure and system? Um, and one of the um, really exciting things um, that we hope is going to come out of this grant is a whole slew of fellows and future mentors and people that 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 will be trailblazers that will be able to say hey i was one of the you know the people that wrote this library of resources over here um and am able to share it with the rest of everybody and hopefully we're hoping that that sort of lifts up all of open hardware and academia and makes it a real thing um, with a real certification from ashwa behind it um, and and resources that everybody else can use we also created a state of open hardware 2021 report and this report part of this report was from our certifications part of this report was from the surveys that we have sent out over the last 10 years surveying our community um, you can view the whole report at the um, at state of oshw.ashwa.org um, this report is beautiful so i wanted to pull out one of the images from this report but we took different projects um, and certification, different data. We, we sort of cobbled all that together. We cobbled um, a bunch of um, data together about the Open Hardware Summit today. Um, and then we also put in a section of um, the, the survey questions that we thought have been interesting. And we also included who we've been working with in terms of this foundation I'm talking about building um, um, as, as sort of like a last list of our whole universe within Open Hardware right now. Other things that we have been doing this year, um, we've been integrated, integrated certifications into um, open hardware journals. We have uh, created 
Um, we, we worked with the FPGA community and the OpenShift community to create a best practices for FPGAs. Um, our current best practices or our general best practices didn't quite meet the needs of that community because FPGAs are complex with where the software really ends and where the hardware really starts. So we kind of had to, you know, go to that community, ask a lot of questions. We ended up with the best practices. It's on our site. Um, and we are continuing to do this with more and more communities and more industries, more fields that are out there who are applying open hardware and say, oh, wait, my community has this kind of weird thing. Because remember, hardware is anything with atoms rather than bits. So we are trying to cobble together like a lot of different types of hardware. Um, we also added a professional development piece to the Ada Lovelace Fellowship for the first time, and this is super exciting. So our Ada Lovelace Fellows for the summit this year um, received a stipend to, to sort of make their open hardware careers come true. Um, and they also received uh, um, a, a series of mentorship videos um, from past fellows and from our um, past board members. So that was a really exciting thing that we also launched this year. Um, over uh, last summer, we created a DI and J roadmap, um, which also included the move away from MASI and MISO and SPI nomenclature. Um, and that is on our website under the resources tab. Um, there's a resolution that you can sign for that. And then um, to sum everything up, we are also going to have a community 2022 survey, which will be coming. So please look for that link. We'll try to get it out in all the places that we um, typically chat, um, Discord and Twitter, and possibly even your inbox if you're signed up for our newsletter. All of this is possible because we have the support of our members. So thank you very much to all of our members. You can sign up to become a member at ashwaorg slash membership. And your membership does allow you to vote for your board seat. <clears throat> Um, we also wanted to um, let people know about some of our sister organizations and what other people are doing sort of to create that foundation level of open hardware that is happening right now. So we've been working um, with GOSH and, and in close communication with them. Um, one of the things that they are doing is the, um, the, the 2022 GOSH gathering, which has already been talked about at the summit, which is awesome. Um, you can apply. The deadline is April 30th. And they're also doing um, research and policy workshops, and the deadline to apply for those is May 8th. You can also find them on forum.openhardware.science if you've got questions and to join up with their community as well. Another space that we've been working with is the um, Open Hardware Diversity Alliance. This group is just getting started. Um, we're hoping that there will be a series of events around open hardware. Um, you can get involved by emailing info at diversityhw.org. Um, if you all know about Nation of Makers, um, this is kind of that Venn diagram that connects open hardware with makers and maker spaces and hacker spaces. Um, NOMCOM 2020 is coming up in June. You can see all the dates on their slide um, are the different topics that they'll be covering this year. So please check them out. There's also um, nomcom.org where you can learn more. And then finally, um, the Internet of Production Alliance. Um, they are building out two meta standards, open know-how and open know-where. Um, and so this is another place where there's this whole Venn diagram um, happening within communities, and we just want to make sure everybody's aware of them. You can get involved um, by emailing info at internetofproduction.org. And then finally, for today, I want to thank our, our whole community, not just the you know, other nonprofits I highlighted, but everybody who makes our community possible. Um, our speakers, our summit team, thank you so much for putting on such a wonderful event. Um, I want to thank uh, the board members at Oshawa. They do a lot of work in the background. I want to thank all of, all of our volunteers, our Ada fellows, staff, and collaborators. Um, and I want to remind you that you can join us for Twitter in about two hours. Um, and there is the Twitter Team Finder um, channel on Discord that you can go to and find a team right now. And um, in 2023, uh, we are going to have the Open Hardware Summit on April 28th. So mark your calendars. Um, of course, we're sort of, you know, 
hopeful that maybe it'll be in NYC, but there is always the TBD, which is just a standard nowadays. And so we will let you know closer to the event um, if it will be in person or if it will be virtual. And thank you, thank you, thank you once again to our wonderful sponsors for making this day possible. Thank you so much all for being here. Um, I appreciate everybody's presence. I appreciate everybody's comments and everybody's uh, 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 you know, space in, in Discord and in Twitter and wherever you happen to be following us. So thank you all so very much.